Capricorn, thank you so much for tuning in. If this does not resonate, please be sure to check your moon rising signs. Okay. Underlining energy Capricorn is going to be the two of wands, okay? So the two of wands here, um, wands obviously is a, a fire Sagittarius, Aries energy, um, but wands ultimately represents a career. So you may be looking out into the horizon for a new career. Uh, you may be thinking about changing what you do, something new, something different, okay? Let's see here. So this is your present situation, the sun, okay? So right now you're looking for some growth and recovery. You're looking to grow in your career. Now, what is crossing your current situation is the seven of pentacles, okay? So the seven of pentacles, uh, again, it kind of coincides with this right here, that you're you're too much in your vision. I mean, it's good to set goals, Capricorn. It's good to have goals. It's good to know where you want to be. But if you spend too much time daydreaming about where you want to be, you can't actually grow and focus on getting there because you're just sitting around daydreaming about it all the time. Okay, so that's what's um, that's what's crossing you right now. The best we can hope for in this situation is the Nine of Swords. Okay, so again, Capricorn, if if you want to grow and you want a change in career or a change in job and all you do is think about it but not make any moves, that's going to lead to some anxiety. That's going to lead to sleepless nights. If you don't like where you are currently in your place of employment, I mean, this is where, you know, this is what it's going to lead to. Sleepless nights, having a lot of anxiety, just you know, you're not in a good headspace there, Capricorn, okay? So, you know, if you want to make a move, you have to work towards it. You can't just sit around and, and, you know, complain about it and think about it. Now, the reason for this reading is the Knight of Swords, okay? So the Knight of Swords is action. You do want to take the action, okay? Now, let's keep in mind here, we have the page, we have the knight, we have the king. So the page is a very young person who wants to go, but not really, you know, very young, being immature about it. We have the knight here, which you're semi-serious. You really do want to make a move. You're, you're kind of, you're taking action in the sense of you're thinking about move, take, making a move, Capricorn, but it's not the king of swords. You're not really putting your foot down and just making a firm decision of, I'm going to grow in my career, okay? Which is leading to this. It's leading to this. You're, you're really miserable at your job, Capricorn. Really miserable. Now, in the past, we have the Three of Swords, all right? So, recently, and in the recent past, there are certain truths that you have come to find out about your place of employment or your money situation that you, um, you know, that caused you a lot of heartache, that are causing, you know, that, that caused this. It made you want to grow, it made you want to leave your current place of employment, it made you want to grow in your career, um, and that was in the recent past. So what we have here for the recent future is the Wheel of Fortune, Capricorn, okay? So if you get out of your head, stop envisioning the money, stop thinking about being rich, stop thinking of growing in your career, stop thinking of that you're going to wake up one day with tons of money in the bank, because thinking is not, I mean, of course, manifesting and thinking is always great, but without action, you know, nothing is going to take place. With the Wheel of Fortune, you're going to set this wheel in motion. You are going to take action here. You're going to start moving towards it, okay? Um, so you're going to start moving towards uh, uh, being happier in your career. 
Now this is where you are right now. So we have the eight of wands. So obviously we have you taking action and wands is career and it's communication, all right? So you have to start communicating with people. You have to start going on interviews. You have to start networking, social networking, LinkedIn. Um, you gotta start making a move here, Capricorn. You have to start making a move, okay? So I do see you know, fire here. So we have fire and we have air. Okay. So again, air is, you know, you want to move, you want to take action. Fire means, you know, you're, you're moving towards it. It's energy. All right. Now this is your current work environment. You have the 10 of swords, Capricorn, the 10 of swords, something is going to come to ruin so that something new, you know, this, this wheel can start moving. All right. Something is going to fall into ruin and something great is going to come out of it, Capricorn. That's your current work situation right now, your current environment in your career or your current money situation. All right. So that's, that's what we have going on in your environment right now. This is going to be either your hopes or your fears. New beginnings, Capricorn. The Ace of Cups, new beginnings. Okay, so this is your biggest hope and it is also your biggest fear, Capricorn, okay? Because, you know, sometimes we get comfortable in our own misery. Sometimes, you know, even though we don't like our job or it gives us a lot of anxiety, we're comfortable there. We know what we're doing, we know the people, um, so there's a level of comfort there, all right? But ultimately, you do want this new beginning. You want it, you're scared of it, but you really want it because you're taking action, you're taking action. The outcome of this, the Three of Cups, celebration, okay? You are gonna be celebrating your good fortune, Capricorn. It is gonna be beautiful, all right? It is going to be beautiful. All right, well, this is a beautiful reading, okay? So again, Capricorn, please get out of your head. Whatever you're envisioning, because right now, I mean, you're in a place where you wanna grow. You know, it's good to envision this. This is really good that you're manifesting this. It really is beautiful that you're looking at the money that you want to be making, okay? But it's also, you know, just sitting back and, and you know, being lazy and just being in your head about it. This is all that it's going to accumulate. That's it. It's just going to accumulate anxiety. Take action. You know, you've realized the truth in the recent test that this career, this job that you're at is not for you. It's not for you, your finances, where this is not where you want to be. You have good fortune coming in. You're going to start communicating. You're going to start reaching out, networking, interviews. Your current situation is going to fall. A better one is going to come into place. We have new beginnings and we have celebration. This is beautiful. All right, Capricorn. Well, again, if you like this video, please be sure to like below, um, subscribe. Uh, I am also going to be taking $10 off of any personal readings for my subscribers and I'll be doing a drawing once a month for a free 60 minute reading for both love and finance. Okay Capricorn, have a great day.